Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to find a free IP proxy list um, so you can find a proxy that you can use. Um, now, before I start, I should point out I'm not a great fan of free proxies. You don't know who's running them, you don't know what they're doing with them. They can be slow and painful to use. As I say, I would never use them, but hey, they're free, so I'll show you how to find them. Okay, All right, let me just close that. Right, the easiest way to do it is to, let me just start, through our old friend Google, okay? So what you need to do is find um, the generic sort of proxy list that are created by these scrapers and stuff. Now the simple way to do it is to use this search um, <coughs> string or something quite similar. Now I don't know if you can see that, let me just uh, zoom in a little bit. Um, this search string, which I'll put in the description below, so you can just copy and paste it. We can say searches for um, text files with 8080, 3128, and 80, which are um, the common ports used for um, using proxy servers. Okay, and the file type uh, colon text. So look for a text file with this information in it. The text files are where the proxy lists, the automated scraper ones, just bung them in text files, okay? It's the best chance you're finding one that works and it's not overloaded. There are sites that you can go to that do this, but um, if you search for your own, you've, you've got more chance of finding one that's not overloaded. Um, you go to sites like proxy.org, which do lists. Um, they tend to be completely hopeless, most of the servers. Um, it is a risk you take, though. Some of them are slow. Okay, let me just come out of this. Okay, right, so we found a list here. So we've done that search. Now, another thing you should notice that um, it's crucial to find up-to-date proxy lists. Anything that's um, two, three, four weeks old is completely useless uh, because these proxies tend to get shut down or overloaded or whatever. So we're not interested in anything very late. So let's just change our search tools here and we can go to Google and say, let's just look for stuff from the past week, okay? So that'll filter down uh, our lists of stuff that's been updated quite recently. You can see here's a proxy list updated um, today. Um, so I'm gonna click on that and uh, we can just see, let me just zoom in again so you can have a look at the sort of format here. Now you can see this comes in um, the format of port, it's, it's got the IP address, it's got the port, and it's got um, the country, okay? And there's some stuff there about whether it supports SSL or anything. Not very reliable always, but um, that's what they say there. Uh, it also about the level of anonymity. I wouldn't worry about too much of these. They, they tend to be classified um, very vaguely and loosely. But, okay, so we've got all our proxies there. And what I'm going to do, let me just come out of that mode again. I'm going to find a proxy that we can use. Um, okay, let's right. Let's just try a French one. Um, dum, 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 dum. It's a good French one. There we have a French one there. Yeah. Okay, there's a French one. We'll try this. Now, um, another step you might want to take, um, just for your peace of mind, is to do a quick check on where the server is. I use a um, the who is site www um, uh, who is um, there's loads of other ones just search for who is search uh, and I just put the IP address there and we can see who runs it okay we can see here that um, this particular server is run by a French ISP so it could be on somebody's website or it could be um, I think these are data center people, so it's more likely to be a website or stuff like that than a private one. Um, I would tend to say they're a bit safer. Um, so we will try that. Um, be careful of um, ones that are on private networks and stuff like that. Anything that looks out of the ordinary, be careful. Or hacked sites. If, it's a, if it comes up with a company name that obviously wouldn't have an open proxy server, I'd stay away from it because you're hitting sort of criminal laws stuff there. Uh, trespassing, Computer Misuse Act. I wouldn't go there. Okay, so we're going to use that server, right? Now I just need to show you how to set it up in the browser. Okay, so we've got our server and it's on 3 on 128. I'm going to show you in um, go to Google setting to settings in Chrome. You have to move down and show advanced settings. 
then you should get some different options and I'm looking for network and change proxy settings and you get this little screen up here I need to go to LAN settings click LAN settings you get this little box this is the same for um, IE uh, Internet Explorer and Chrome they both use the same Firefox Safari will have different settings I'm sure you'll find them uh, I'll paste the address in there oh, what was the port number 3128 and the port I changed to 3128 okay I can click bypass proxy server for local addresses so anything um, local to my network won't go through the proxy and click OK and click OK and now we need to close down all these now at this point when I restart um, when I restart Chrome um, it'll have the proxy server settings so remember at this point everything goes through that proxy server I've set so don't go on online banking webmail anything with accounts or usernames stay clear you don't know anything about that proxy server you don't know anybody who runs it so stay clear we don't even know if it works but let's give it a go let's go to the BBC website and hopefully it will work but um, bear in mind they do tend to be slow okay I mean there's a huge variation here some of them will be really quick this one is working but it's a little bit slow but it is gonna work it's waiting for the proxy to respond again it's worth doing these searches quite often so um, bring up quicker and faster proxies or just try a few you know take that list and take one or two and depending on what different um, location you are this is actually quite slow and here we go but it has worked okay so this proxy server is active it's a bit slow um, I might go back and try another one but um, at the moment I'm browsing through um, that French proxy okay um, and that's pretty much basically it I'll put a couple more search um, expressions in the descriptions below um, play around with them you might find um, that's that's kind of a, an average proxy I'd say a little bit slow but it does work you'll find you'll find loads that don't work you'll find some that are really fast but again be very careful you don't know who runs these and there are people who use them to steal credentials so don't log into anything um, complicated and always remember after you finish go in back to the settings and remove your proxy settings don't leave them on or to, um, to come back on the next time you use your browser but you may forget and then go into PayPal or something like that so uh, just be careful with that uh, so that's my free proxy lists kind of tutorial. Um, thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it. Goodbye.